we will now see how to create some advanced aggregations in Cognos list. Uh, here we have two uh, lists. This list on the left uh, side is only showing our row data. So these are all of the rows that we have. And here on the right side, we have the same list. Only two uh, columns are excluded. So these uh, values are aggregated. And we also grouped uh, this column in order to get subtotals. Now, we need one more column in this right uh, list, and we have to create that column by using formula. I will now create just a simple formula, really simple. Uh, for that, we have to go here to Toolbox, and we will drag this icon, Query Calculation, into here, just like some column. And when I release this, we will get a dialog where we can type our formula. I will first give a name to our new column. I will call it Quantity plus 10. Here in this pin, we have to type our uh, formula, but we don't have to type everything. If we go here to this tab, Data Items, here we have our columns. So I can drag this column quantity, and then here I can just type plus 10 on my keyboard. I will click here to validate my uh, formula. We can see here that there are no errors. And when I click on OK, we will get a new column. Now, as we can see, every value from column quantity is increased by 10. So 7 plus 10 is equal 70. And this is how we created our new column. Now we can start creating our aggregations. First, in this column value, we will just create the ordinary default summary just to see how this works. So we got our subtotals and broad total. Then we will go to this quantity column but here we are going to use formula, formula for creation of aggregation. For that, we go to summarize, and then we choose this option custom. We will again get our uh, expression builder. Uh, this time it is not important what is the name here, because we will not create a new column. And here we have to create our formula. I will create my formula like count from quantity. I will validate it and I will click on OK. And here we can see our result. Now we can notice two things. First, our result will appear inside of summary row. That is first thing and that is valid for uh, aggregations created with formula. And the second is that here we have only nine rows, but our result is 18. Now why is that? That is because formula is using row data. Here we have 18 rows, and this is why formula calculated 18 uh, here. Uh, then we can change our formula. If we double click here, I will get again my dialog, and I can change this from count to total. I will validate my formula, OK, and now we have just an ordinary sum inside of this uh, column. Then we go to this uh, third column. This third column is created with formula. Now, I will now use a uh, default summary to get my result. And we can notice one thing. 17 plus 16 is not equal to 23. It is equal to 33. But on the other side, 13 plus 10 is equal to 23. Now, this time, Cognos is uh, respecting our formula. So it, it is making calculation horizontally. So which kind of aggregation is this? Well, let's go to our properties pane, and here we can see that Cognos is using aggregate. Aggregate just means that Cognos will decide what kind of aggregation to use. But what kind of aggregation this is specifically? Well, for that, we will go here to calculate it, and when I click on calculate it, nothing will change. We can see that we uh, have same results as earlier, so this is that uh, aggregation that is respecting our formula. If we change this, for example, to total, in this case, uh, we have normal situation where 17 plus 16 is equal to 33. We can do one more thing. We can look what options are available for aggregations in properties pane. If I select this uh, column here, and here at the bottom, we have this summary aggregation. It seems that this property is only valid 
for cross tabs, so I will skip it. I will go to detail aggregation. Here in detail aggregation, we have all of the familiar aggregations like total count average and so on. But at the bottom, we have some special aggregations. For example, summarize. Summarize is using this rule. If column is numeric, then it will apply total. If column is of date type, then it will return the last date. In all, all of, the, of the other situations, it will use count. We already saw calculated, and then we have default. Default will use calculated if possible, and then if it is not possible, it will use summarize. Not applicable is only useful for old reports that are created in some old versions of Cognos, so we will skip that, and then we have none. Now, none is interesting. We can actually turn off uh, automatic grouping inside of our list. If I click on none, we will notice that then we have 18 rows both in the list on the left side and in the list on the right side. So here we can see all of the source data. We have 4324, and here we also have 4324. So we can turn off aggregation if we uh, want to, and then uh, we can select subtotals to see what can we do here. Uh, here we have also some familiar aggregations, and at the bottom we only have calculated that we already know, and we have aggregated. Aggregate means that Cognos will decide what aggregation to use by following some of uh, its rules.